to do. Let's set up. Yes, please. <laughs> I heard jam donut. <laughs> Nice and quiet here, Rich, isn't it? It's lovely. Occasionally you get them firing the biomass thing. But other than that, it's not bad. Yeah, no, it's nice.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Afternoon, Mr. Fry, just settling in. Settling in. <laughs> oh, lovely week, Got your Sainsbury's bags, just get them in shot. Yes, now. get the Sainsbury's bags in. It ain't a video without a Sainsbury's bag, no, is no. it? <laughs> they are coming out of the way that I'm being thrown away shortly, so. <laughs> I'm going to have to get one of those new uh, outhouse carry bags Shit. when they come on the market. Yeah, they're, they're bags for life. For they're proper coming bags through, for life. All the cool kids have got them, yeah. Even the uncool kids have got them. <laughs> So I've done it so I can, at night if I want to, I can just quick release that. Going up to another carabiner with a, press it not, that is in focus, but, so I can adjust it as well. And uh, that is it really. I can just swing that over and that will hold up there, get in and then snap it down. Like that, and the beauty of the way this is done is that the snaps are underneath, so basically it folds up. So if it was on the other side, they'd be laying flat, and water, water could get in, and it, uh, bugs can get in. So the bugs are going to get in anyway, but it just gives it a nice finished seam along there. The skill, precision. So, if I were to lift up this inch with my pole, why are you not doing that anymore? We're going to do a half level, I think. You've not got enough. Now, enough. Dave did the half level. As a master here. Yeah, basically, it's not oh, basically if you just do what we've done there, we double up, double up the parachute, but you won't have it as a parachute, depending if that's what you it's want or not. not. Really, it's something for Andy to play with when he's down there. I don't think, you know, it, it needs, because the inner, that this section here, is a full, smaller circle than the outer bit, you know what I mean? And that's the it, trouble. It's a bellowed out parachute, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So, we could like do the half parachute setup, which would be quite easy, you know what I mean? It's, it's the only thing you really do with what we've got, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's do it then. Just got my head chopped in. We've just been putting a parachute or a half parachute, a bit like that parachute setup I've done at Fires Woods, but I think I need a drink. So, I've got this cook kit, the Summit that I've had for a while. A little while, and uh, I think it'll work. All right, I'm not using on the fire this weekend. I just got gas, so make life a bit easier. So here we go. So I've got in this, which is my frying pan pouch. Sea to Summit folding 
frying pan. Kettle. And it's a 2.8 litre pot. Obviously not to go on a fire, but for this set up with the stove it works brilliantly. So let's get a brew on. I think it was that um, Tim Bates. Have you seen him? No, no he's really good, Tim lovely Bates. Old boy. He just goes off in his. We make a lot of money from more cooks. We've got loads and loads of cooks, you know. So oh, it's 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 and I uh, had a crack of night's sleep and uh, sun's out again. I can't believe the weather, it's beautiful. Um, I had a crack of night's sleep in this new system uh, from outhouse. Uh, a bit of condensation on the inside um, due to obviously wild laying, I'm breathing downwards into the, into the, uh, into the, into the sleeping bag. But not nothing too major. I'm just going to air it out. Yeah, I slept really comfortable in here. And the sleeping bags I had were um, opened up. I opened up the sleeping bag, so I was laying on top of the wall, which was really comfortable. But yeah, I'm going to get a brew on there and uh, go from now. Obviously not on the fire, but you know I've got them three containers, a frying pan, 2.8 litre pot and that, all goes into a frying pan pan, which is worth it, isn't it? Let's have a cup of tea, sun down. Let's put some milk in here. So at uh, some point today, or tomorrow even, I'm going to do a demonstration of that that new poncho stroke ground mat swag. 
I'm trying to think of a word that you can name it, maybe. <laughs> uh, bedroll. It's more of a bedroll, really. But um, because it is a new product and it's something that uh, I think is slightly different. No one's really done anything like this before, and you usually got the ability to have a poncho when you need a poncho, and it's all canvas. Um, you've got the mat, obviously you can just sleep on, you know, with your sleeping bag. Um, but then the ability to chuck this and snap it to the actual uh, ground mat to give you a basically a, a nice big bedroll, and it's massive in there. Now I've got quite, it's quite big this one because um, I've used it for my ex-bed um, sleeping mat which I think the size of it on top of me is something like 205 long by 80 wide or 75 wide, something 80 wide it could be so it's quite big but as you see in some of the pictures um, it actually uh, packs down a decent size uh, and um, but I was really impressed by my sleep, bit of condensation, but I was, it was cold night last night, everyone's saying, but with my sleeping system, I was really hot in there, so I might have produced a bit more condensation, um, but nothing to, you know, it were not too bad, and the uh, the canvas is already dried out, and, the, and the, there's only the top section of the uh, sleeping bag where it's touching the uh, canvas. But yeah, um, I'll, I'm going to show, sort of break it down and show it to you. And Ollie's going to have these up for sale soon, I think. Uh, I think as soon as he gets some pictures and stuff. So yeah, it's really interesting and something that you know. I like things that are multi-purpose. You know what I mean? And this is really because with the poncho, and the poncho um, is, is actually going to produce a wall poncho as well that snaps onto it. And he's designed it uh, where. Um, you don't have to have a load of snaps, they're called gypsy snaps, so the military used to use them, the way they snap on top of another snap, or the sales people use them, you know, sailing. So you basically need to, instead of having like maybe loads of uh, snaps, it's only got one, which then connects together, and they just like connect on top of each other. So, yeah, some interesting stuff, and um, I'll, I'll uh, show it to you later on. Right, we've actually got outhouses, all their complete range of swags out to just demonstrate the sizes um, and widths. So basically we're starting off with the smallest version, which is the Hobart, and that is 90 centimetres wide, and that's actually quite a lightweight setup. You don't need the mattress, you could put an inflatable mattress in there, and that would work really well. Next up is the Rockhampton. In this one you've got three poles, a 90 mil wide ground mat and once that lifts off you've got a bug net underneath there and I used one of these for years and they're brilliant next up is the Davenport the Davenport is the one that I use currently um, I like this one because it works great for winter conditions in the UK because a majority of it is covered and you've got entrance on both ends and you've got air on both ends as well so you can get a complete airflow for the summer and uh, that works really good. Next up is the Palmerston. The Palmerston is the same width and basically the same dimensions on the on the on the ground, but height-wise, it's both the same at both ends, and the whole complete side lifts up on both sides, and it's got an air vent as well. Um, and that's great for hot conditions and winter as well. And if you really want to go big, we've got the Palmerston Double. Which is how wide? How wide? 1500. 1500 wide. So that is big. So it's basically the same as a Palmerston, but 1500 wide. And you can get two, I'd even say three people in there, quite definitely two really comfortably in there. So that's his complete range, and they're all great, they all work really well, they're all made to a high quality standard, and uh. Ollie's a really nice guy to deal with. So there we go.
Uh, it's like gas up, so every week there's a different challenge and you have to build a vehicle for the challenge. Uh, but basically what we did is we had to build bug out vehicles. And I went through all the stages of What I'm gonna do is basically try and season this pan a bit as it really sticks so I'm just gonna put some more you can see it's smoking up a bit I'm gonna put a little bit more on but you don't want too much on there because it really is everything sticks to it quite badly so I just gotta open the pores up and hopefully Get it to be a bit more non stick. As you can see, we're slowly getting there. I've just been, you can't have it swimming at all, so you need to put oil in it, just with a cloth wipe around. Um, if it's swimming in oil, it won't work. Plus it, it does, it can turn into a flame. But um, yeah, it's getting there really. It's just, it's just not a fast process. It, yeah, I suppose I've been on this for about 15 minutes. But, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll finish it in a minute and turn the uh, burner off and let it cool down and that should be good enough I say but as it was it's like to me that's not usable with all that um, sticking you know it's, it's just not a usable pan so you have to make it usable yeah, alright so uh, it's cooled down so I was just going to give it a test now, put a bit of oil in there, put too much but never mind. I'm going to do the old egg test. we can say that's a success now that's a lot better now so that's usable now so and I've just got to be careful not to use this and wash it with washing up liquid and try and scrape it off. So I'll just try and build up that non stickness.
Sunday morning. It's light cloud up there at the moment, but it still looks like it could be nice. Got myself a coffee already brewed up. Um, the chain, the clocks changed last night, so the time is quarter to eight where it should be quarter to seven. Um, but that's really good news because that means it's going to be lighter in the evenings. Um, a two cracking night's sleep, and I'm using this new system that uh, Ollie from our house has come up with, and it's worked really great. I, when I pack up, I break it down. Um, but the beauty of it is, is that it's a nice ground mat with a light sleeve and I've always said this in the thought but you can put your ground mat and you lay on top of the wall blanket or you have your sleeping bag on top of it up to you but I like to lay on top of it so I have a sleeping bag open um, because I, I like to be able to move around you know spread your legs around and stuff like that and then in the normal enclosed sleeping bag it's, you know, it's a pain to do that um, and then the poncho that you make basically you put snaps on it and it all connects together. Um, he mentioned, he told me this oh, before Christmas and I really liked the idea of it. And uh, yeah, I sort of would have said let's make one, you know what I mean? And uh, just give it a blast and it, I have to say it works really well. It's almost like a swag, but not, you know, it's got that sort of comfort and canvas feel to it. Um, this though, I did wake up, it was quite damp air, so it was quite wet a little bit in here but that wasn't too much of an issue today it's totally dry but yeah I'll break it down later um, so I'll just go with this brew then I'll get up have a bit of a clean up pack up a bit um, then maybe do some breakfast and go from there but there we go So yeah, this is the new product from Outhouse. Um, it's basically a combination of two items he makes, which is the poncho and the ground mat. And we've just basically put them together to make a sleep system. Um, so it all basically snaps together. So if I show you how it all goes together, then it makes sense. So this is the ground mat, and the ground mat with this is different from his normal ground mat. It's got a sleeve inside it. Now the beauty of this is that you can put your ground mat inside here, so you get the insulation from the ground mat, you get insulation from two layers of canvas, and also the wall on top. Um, and basically you can lay straight on the wall, which is really comfortable. So if you're using a wall blanket or a quilt, um, you're going to get all that insulation from the ground mat coming up and basically on a sleeping bag you flatten most of the insulation anyway so if I just get inside it you can have a quick look there's loads of space in here and once you're at night you snap all the snaps up and it's a really lovely cosy environment uh, I've spent two nights in it and it's worked great so obviously being a poncho it's got the hood section for it. Now, uh, Ollie's put a waterproof YKK zip in there, and basically all you need to do is just put it over like that, um, and it's fine. You're going to use a tarp over it. Um, you know, you're not going to you, in the summer periods. Yes, it's great, but you know, if it's going to rain, water will get in there. Torrential rain, so you're going to use a tarp over it. Um, I should turn it upside down so you can see what the, the system looks underneath. which is really smart basically with the snaps on underneath so basically you've got a when the, the poncho's on top of the ground mat it pulls it round so it almost gives it a, a, like a basin or a bucket you know effect um, and if you ever look it just looks really smart it's got three snaps at the bottom going up all 
both sides and it's just it's just a nice lightweight ish I'm gonna say because I'm thinking swag size and weight of a swag but this gives you sort of the comfort of a swag uh, um, a lot lighter it's a two-part system and this is the ground mat now you don't need to use the poncho this is the beauty you can just use this uh, put your sleep mat inside there um, put it on top of camp bed inside your tent whatever it's a, it's a great bit of kit and also you get that nice fill of wall you're not feeling you're not laying on sort of plastic material you're on a nice wall it's comfortable um, so let's have a look at the uh, poncho right poncho not much to say about it obviously made out of a nice heavyweight canvas um, nice hood on it ah. zip basically what it does is a poncho and keeps you dry especially like if you're on a canoe if you're around camp even if you're hiking a poncho is great because you've still got that airflow around you where if you're wearing Gore-Tex or anything like that you're going to sweat the poncho just gives you that airflow around you which keeps you warm but also keeps you cool um, so you've got it does two purposes works well, part of your sleep system obviously when it's raining and pouring down the rain you've got yourself a poncho to keep you dry also big enough and I'll show it later I'll put my rucksack on put this over the top and you can keep all your gear dry as well so basically yes is it the new system from outhouse right this is it all packed up now this has got the ground mat and the poncho and actually it's quite a small package here actually no bigger than I spectate what well, this is mostly lighter than a Polish lavu um, and it was really easy being canvas you know you've got that flapping around it just folds nice and neatly and it's just a nice all-around system so there we go done so that's me all packed up all quite easily obviously you wouldn't take a cool box with you but um, there's plenty of space inside for food but there's it all packed up